Hey guys, William over here, and in today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the old heater unit. Okay, so welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. If you are new around here and haven't subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you become one of the subscribers to the channel. That way you won't miss out on any future content I've got coming up and uh, hopefully the car will be finished soon and then moving on to the next project. So today we're going to be looking at the heater. This is the original heater I believe from the 1979 car and it's got 40 years of a dust on it. Um, the sticker on the heater fascia is from Sticky Fingers and I even got his name engraved in it. So yeah, the car's called Rusty and it's got Rusty written on there. So what I've got to do today is to replace the heater matrix which is located inside this unit. So take the cover off, remove the old matrix, fit the new matrix, fit the cover back on, give it a real good clean and then put it into the car attach the heater hoses and then that job is complete. Um, so I guess we'll show you what I've recently got. So if you've seen the last episode I did, um, I was waiting for this part to turn up. It's taken quite a while to get here, but it's finally arrived and this is it. This is the heater matrix for the car. It's got staggered um, spouts. Sometimes you have two by the side, sometimes you come out and then going up. Sometimes they're a little bit uh, the same size. So you need to make sure that if you're going to get a heater matrix, it's the right model for your car. Uh, as well in the box, somewhere, there is a foam strip. Now the strip goes around the outside of the heater matrix to protect that from rattling around inside. So let's crack on with this job. We'll strip down the heater box and then we'll fit this up. Obviously making sure that it matches before we go any further. So what we're going to need for this job? Well, firstly, the heater motor. Secondly, the new matrix and the seal. A screwdriver with various bits. And that is everything we're going to need for this job in particular. So you've got screws on both sides, but we're going to focus on this side here, because this is the side we want to make sure we take off. So I'll make sure I get the right size screwdriver for the job. So there we have the old um, heater out. As you can see, the foam is wrapped around it there to stop it from rattling back and round. And these two slots were also in there, here and here, to stop it going side to side. Um, it doesn't actually look too bad. It has got obviously signs of corrosion on there, but consider it's hold water for the last 40 years. It's pretty good. So, with the new one, just check it's the right width, which it is. It's a little bit narrower, which isn't a massive issue really. I just want to check these two pipes. How uh, can do that? Line up to each other, which they do.
Okay, because what you can see here, as you switch your fan to the on position, the fan will then start to spin, a bit like a hamster going around a wheel. And it spins, you can see the other side as well, in the back, that spins also. Now you've got the hot air from the engine coming in to your heater matrix, and also going back out. Now the fan blows the hot air through the heater matrix, and depending on the setting you've got it, be it the screen, it then goes through the pipes here and over here to the windscreen or to the car. It comes out these little side vents and goes into the car and then also down as well. So that is how that works. It's quite a primitive, straightforward system, but yet very effective. So next up is the introduction of Mark Piper's favourite tool in the garage. So now all the crud's out, it's pretty clean inside. We can then look to put the new matrix in. So the foam strip is double sided tapes on the back. And then you just peel that off. Should be a lot easier without gloves on. So that's now wrapped all around. Next up, I want to put the bits of foam in place. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tip the heater this way and place that foam on that back edge. and then slide this into place. So next up, it's important that the matrix goes in one way because the holes inside it are staggered. We'll put that back on. Tell you what we'll do. Now I'm having a bit of difficulty with these staying in place. Now, I haven't got any double-sided tape here at the moment, but I have got some adhesive spray. So what I'm gonna do is put a... a coat of adhesive spray on there. And I'm gonna go down and put that into the end. And do the same on here. Pretty good this stuff, so just got a few minutes to sort of set in. And this isn't going to fully stop the movement back and forth, but it will reduce rattling and it hopefully will prolong the life of the, um, the matrix. Try 
any game. Okay, there we have it. The heater matrix is now replaced. Next up, we're gonna go and install this back into the car. So we're gonna have two screws going from the bottom upwards here and here. And then the threads at the back, they hook onto some latches inside the car. You can hook them on first and then pivot it back up just to put the screws in the front. Um, I'm just gonna give it a quick hoover at the top and then I'm going to give it a clean when it's in place to sort of save it moving around. Okay, so in the car, oh, you can see up here this little hook, and there's one here as well. Now, what you do, so we can do this one handed. So it's on the back and just pivots up to meet the front. So there's a few jobs I wanted to do, which I've turned my attention to do off camera. Um, now the reason being they are the brake and the clutch clevis pins and they've got the split pin to go through. What a pain of a job they are. Um, when I did the clutch clevis pin previously before I changed the plate underneath, it went in an absolute doddle. Um, Put the two in, nightmare. So the steering column came back out, even though that was just held, being held in with a screwdriver. And uh, yeah. So anyway, we are getting somewhere. The heater hoses are now in. They're connected to the front of the car. And uh, they're pretty much ready to be bolted into the, or attached into the heater matrix. So I'm gonna get back to where I was a minute ago. I'm going to reattach the heater to the bulkhead. I'm going to run the passenger side cable across the top, round and into the top hose. Try not to kink that hose if I can. Uh, and then the driver side one, I'm going to come round and attach to the bottom. And then that's going to get pushed up once the steering column gets refitted.
Right. You need to be quite careful with how tight I do this because the new ones are plastic. Okay, so I'm on my phone because the other batteries have died. But the top hose is now attached. The heater hose is coming out from the heater, up through the bulkhead and down onto that link pipe. The other side is coming out from the bulkhead, through this little hole in the uh, pipes, and onto the DSN pipe. I put it through this gap, because if I'd gone through here, it'd have been a bit of a severe kink to get this way. So that's in the engine bay, going through into the car. Steering column is back on, and the, the heater is now fitted as well. And you can see the heater hoses are in place. Propped up nicely by the steering rack. Um, over this side, you can just see at the top there, the hose goes across and then up into the bulkhead. Right, so that is the end of today's video. I'm hoping in the next couple of days I'm going to get this thing running. I haven't even attempted to do any of the wiring yet. Um, in the next video, I want to try and get it onto its wheels. To lower it onto the ground and then be able to swivel it around because... You may or may not know, the rear subframe is ghost. So I've got a new subframe that's arrived uh, and all the bits to go with it. So once that is sort of around, I can jack the back up and I can start working to try and remove and replace the rear subframe. So that's it from me for today. I'm apparently going in to get a haircut. So uh, if you have enjoyed this video, as always, please hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below and if you can, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope you've enjoyed what I've done and uh, I will see you next time. Take it easy.